Star Wars special. Welcome back to the boss. This looks like a boss so room. Snap points. We're doing. Yeah, boxes. that's right. We're fighting Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> the boss. Bradshaw fun fact. Baby, I was born to run. That Bradshaw fun fact for you. About uh, Bruce Springsteen? Maybe. Okay. Uh, you, the well, yes, it is. Okay. He was the one who wrote the song "Blinded by the Light." Revved up like a deuce. Yeah, that hmm. was his song originally. I'm glad and then, like, sing it. like it's it's very different. Um, the basic this of the basic part of it's still there. The whole piano thing in the middle when it plays the dun 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 that's not in the Bruce Springs team. Oh my god who's this? It's a Gallic Fire guy. Dude, why is he spasmering? Yeah he's just got a whole spasmering going. I am spasmering. It just makes Why is that the dude that played Commander Pike in fucking Star Trek? He's a bad guy now. It's like if Pike and uh, if that Pike and that Kirk had a kid, it was that guy in the Space Marine. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Looks <laughs> <laughs> like a big dumper going on there. Burnt, 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 burnt. It was funny with dumper butt because Springsteen's version only came out like a couple years before that. Why'd they have that weird interlude or like that weird like? I don't know because that piano part's like another song. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, a, it's not heart and soul. It's like what are they doing uh, big chopsticks? Maybe it's chopsticks, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, and the sick fucking. That's not in there. That's a good part. I don't care. It's much more Springsteen-y as well. I don't care for the chopsticks part. The wheel wheel wheel. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that happens quite a bit, especially back then, where people would put out a song and then like, it doesn't do very well, <laughs> and then and then like, look. a couple years, look a couple years later, someone else covers it <laughs> and then it becomes big. So much. So you have to throw something on his head. You just gotta disrupt his shields, and then you can run around behind him and that shield thing on the top of his head. Yeah. Perfect example of that too is uh, all on the Watchtower. Oh God, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Yeah, the original is by Bob, Bob Dylan, Dylan from like a few years. A lot of songs that. original by Bob Dylan. Yeah. Like um, the Turtles, they took the uh, the one song. Oh, but you're talking about the TMNT for a second. No, like, they did turtle, the uh, fucking Turtle Power. It was fucking Bob Dylan. What was that one song turtles by yeah. Manfred Mann? Um, Wait, Mighty Wait, Quinn. Here, what the fuck? Yep. Everybody's yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people had covered Come on Bob Dylan without, and actually had better Come on success. Within. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man by the Birds. Birds. That's a Bob Dylan song. Is Turn Turn? No, that's just Birds. No. Um, but yeah, Bob Dylan wrote that song while laying in the grass on the University of Minnesota campus, and there's a water tower, like an old school water tower. It's kind of by where the Surly. Brewery is the yeah. Um, it's by that kind of, and it's shaped the way it's shaped. It's kind of like a castle turret where it's like you know a tube, but then it comes out like this and goes like this, mm -hmm. and it's stone. And then the top of it looks like a looks like a witch's hat. Oh yeah, okay. Looks hmm. like a witch's hat. It's got like a frame around it, and then it comes up to a point like that. It's like that Watchtower episode of Samurai Jack. Yeah. Remember that shit? Yeah. With the monks that turn into like Anubis yep. archers. Oh yeah. Such a good one. Yeah, it is. Jack yeah. had to basically like blindfold himself and like mm -hmm. get his spider senses down. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. You coward. You coward. One thing that's always kind of funny with Bob Dylan is like most people know him for his fucking his talk singing, you know, he's like, yeah, yeah, that's all, uh, like that stuff. No direction, oh, <laughs> like the oh, no, then, stop. He actually like kind of sings in that song, but there there are songs where he actually like sing sings, and uh, the most notable being uh, Lay Lady Lay. Lay Lady Lay. Yeah. 
And he Lee gets like a voice like that too. Well, that's Lee after Lee. his. That's after his, his motorcycle wreck. Lay across my feet, grasp He totally sounded different after, like if you Lee compare, Lee if you compare, like. What do you um, mean before his accident? It was right after. Lay, lady, lay. Yeah. Because. Because uh, that's when he sounded real different. He was like. Because if you compare the compare the like um, what's one of his big ones that he sings? Uh, fucking, we were just fucking singing it like Rolling Stone. Well, not not like that one, but like. uh, no, every, like in the, you. The, it's gonna be all right. What is that song again? The forget shit. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's like been used in every ending episode of a show. Um, I have to find it, but it's one of his his big hits. Hmm. Where it's um. Okay. How about Hey Mr. Tambourine? Does no, that work? No, 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 no. It has to be that song. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> it's the song I'm thinking of and it's pissing me off. You've yeah, had that. I know, I know. Had that. I 100% understand. Oh boy. Why is this dude able to do anything against you? Because he's got Don't power. think twice, it's all right. Don't okay. think twice, it's all right. Like, okay, yeah. compare that one to Lay Lady Lay, he sounds like Kermit. He sounds like the yeah, Kermit he a, scale. Lay Lady Lay, Lay Lady Lay. Is and that then knocking on heaven's door, fucking Guns N' Roses. Knocking on heaven's door. That actually came up on my works uh, playlist, and I was like, double meow, whammy. Meow, no, meow. It, it double whammy. Uh, first, well, there there's the okay. So there's the Bob Dylan song. Sure. And then there's the killed him guys. Then we did it. There is the uh, the oh. Eric Clapton version. Oh, Gravity. Which is the version that got really big first, <laughs> and then. The Guns N' Roses version. Okay. Clapton. That got big again. That got Clapton, really big. I don't remember. But Guns N' Roses is one I remember because it was so. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he goes, knocking on heaven's, heaven's door. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking. Heaven's. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn. Why are you Axel Rose, my guy. Axel Rose, he does the... <coughs> yeah, the fucking serpentine, dude. My, my serpentine. Fucking... Door. What about fucking... God damn. The least, the uh, least uh, threatening posing. grunt posing. of all time. Because there's no gravity. Uh, yep, a curse of fucking... <laughs> fucking welcome to the jungle. Like, you know what it's you gonna are? bring you down. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's pushing out a little toot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Axel, you can't have any ice cream after dinner if you don't finish your, your peas. <laughs> it just comes in, like, up until that point. Like, he's pretty much, like, uh, this is, like, the first song you're hearing from this band. Yep. And it's just, like, killing you. You're just like, oh, yeah, dude. Uh, and then all of a sudden, he gets yeah. into the fucking... Knees, knees. And you're just like, <laughs> oh, this is new. And then the end of the song, it's going to bring you down. <laughs> and you're just like, what? <laughs> I would have been like, all right, at least he's cute, I guess. <laughs> is he, though? People were obsessed with him. Yeah. He like that whole band like they probably got pussy on the regular. Oh yeah, dude. Three hundred percent. Three hundred percent. There's a song on Appetite for Destruction that uses a recording of Axl Rose fucking Steven Adler's girlfriend in the fucking studio. Fun times being a Rocket Queen. Is the name of the song. Um, but yeah, it, the they I thought it would they're be not a band anymore. <laughs> they thought it would be. They are a band. <laughs> They're not active. Yeah, they are. Are they doing shit together? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. What well, are they doing? Well, in 2000... I thought Axel had, like, issues, like, with everybody. He did. Has he gotten over that? But one of the big issues between <laughs> Axel and Slash was Slash's wife. And Slash isn't married to her anymore. Okay. They got divorced. And then they were able to smooth things over. And so... By having a threesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Slash um, and Duff McKagan, the bass player, 
uh, who was also in Velvet Revolver with Slash. They've remained good friends. They both came back to the fold of Guns N' Roses. Because Guns N' Roses, up until that point, I mean, they released, what was it? They released Chinese Democracy in like 2008. Seems like a um, decade ago. Uh, yeah, and they <laughs> were working on it for the better part of a decade as well. Um, and then they'd been touring. Spatsed. Or spots. Be- before that no, and sister. after that, they've been sister. touring. Like, since. Like, they've never. Do you want to see. They've only stopped a little. A big Chungus bit. serpentine, dude? <laughs> Chungle team, dude? Have you seen Axl Rose? He's kind of being a chungy. He's yeah. gotten he's slimmed up a little bit since uh, a few years ago, though. Okay. Because mm-hmm. he's they had a residency. He's in, not looking as cocaine bloated as he yeah. once did. They 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 had a uh, residency <laughs> in Vegas for a while. Yeah. Um, that will do it to you. It was bef- you know obviously before Duff and Slash came back. The devil do you. Um, mm-hmm. And he, uh, he definitely had, where he, he definitely had put some weight on because he's just like fuck it this is my band I can do whatever the fuck I want. Like, it's no original members at that point, right? Mm-hmm. And so he's just like, well, whatever. And, uh... Let's, 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 let's come back to this. Do you have a... Is there, is there a point? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then they got back together, and he uh, worked out a bunch so he could get felt shape for tour, and then they toured for two years straight. But... Cool. Uh, they sing, us, it. sing us out with the... Oh, you know are. where you are? You're at Yavin, baby. You're gonna die. <laughs> You know where you are? <laughs> You're in heaven, baby. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> that was great.